Hi, I hope all of you can hear me. My name is Ruzbe Barucha. I'm from India. I'm an author of 20 published books, as well as I have edited newspapers and magazines. I also have directed uh, a few documentaries and I conduct workshops on practical spirituality, meditation and breathing, as well as how to develop psychic abilities. So this workshop is on operating from one's higher self. In ancient times, spirituality had a different meaning. Nowadays, when a person is religious, when a person is kind, when a person is charitable, when a person is compassionate, we say that individual is spiritual. But in ancient times, that was not the case. In ancient times, only when a person operated from the spirit within the body, or when a person operated only from the higher self, was that person considered to be spiritual. Now, when we say higher self, what does that mean? Ancient knowledge basically teaches us that we all have come from the creator. We are a spark from the great flame. Whatever the great flame has within, all those qualities are imbibed in each one of us. When we start operating from that consciousness, we are considered to be spiritual. When we start operating from the higher consciousness, what does the higher consciousness mean when we start operating from selfless love and oneness? That is the time we are operating from the higher self. There is a particular tradition amongst Tibetans, the Lamas. Every day when they wake up, they have to imagine their entire death ceremony. They have to imagine themselves dead. And the entire ceremonial process that takes place after death. Why? So that every day you are reminded that this could be your last day. Give it your best and operate from the higher self. How does one go about developing the quality of operating from the higher self? First and foremost, very important. We need to come from a place of calmness, which means we should not react under any circumstances. We need to be proactive, not reactive. If we cannot come from a place of calmness, we are not coming from a place of spirituality. We are not operating from the higher self. Be it at home, be it in the corporate world, be it in normal day-to-day -day life. This quality of operating from calmness is most, most important. The second important point to remember is to operate from the now, the now, the present moment. Not the past, not the future, but from this moment itself. 
I'm talking to you. My entire world becomes you. You're listening to me. Your entire world becomes me. The past dissolves away and the future does not exist. So it's very important. It's very important to understand that number one, this could be a last day. Spread the light, spread happiness and operate by giving your very best to each moment, to each moment without reacting, but by being calm. One of the best ways and the easiest ways to achieve this is every few hours spending a few minutes with yourself, reminding yourself that you need to operate from the higher self. A very simple technique is you shut your eyes and just focus on your breath, inhalation and exhalation. You may be at workplace, you don't even need to shut your eyes. Just focus on your breath. If a thought comes to you, don't encourage it. Don't fight it. Come back to the breath. Now, this particular quality needs to be practiced 24-7. Only then can you be in the now. Because if you are not in the now, you will not be operating from the higher self. You will be operating from the past or you will be operating from the future. You shall not be operating from the higher self. Our greatest enemy, our greatest enemy is the mind, are the thoughts. Whenever a thought comes to you, don't fight it, don't encourage it, just come back home, come back to whatever you are doing. This is very, very important if you want to operate from the higher self. Because the mind can take you into a very dark web. If you get sucked into the dark web, all is lost. So no matter what happens, you've got to keep reminding yourself of being in the moment, being now. Because only if you're in the moment, if you're in the now, can you be operating from the higher self. The philosophy of the wise men throughout all religions have preached one basic understanding. Give your best without worrying or focusing on the result. The moment we start focusing on what is going to happen with our effort, what is going to happen with our work, what is going to happen with our project, you won't be operating from the higher self. It is very, very essential to understand this. You need to understand that the only thing that you have in your control is giving your best to each moment. Once again, we come back to the moment. The only thing that we have in our hand, the only control that we have in our hand is of giving our best to each moment. The results are not in our hands. The future is not in our control. 
The past is something we can't do much about. The only thing that we have in control is the moment and giving our best to the moment. Now this requires a state of awareness. This requires a state of awareness. And the only way you can ingrain this into your day-to-day -day life is by every day reminding yourself that I need to operate from my higher self. That does not mean you've got to be a passive onlooker. It just means I shall not react. I shall calmly handle everything. I shall be in the moment. I shall give my very best to everything that I possibly can. I know a number of people who tell me that, you know, it is very difficult to incorporate spirituality in the corporate world. It is very difficult to incorporate spirituality when you're going through a rough time or when the chips are down. That's a mindset. That's a mindset. Whether you're preparing a meal at home or whether you are leading a huge multi-million euro project, there are only a few things that you have in control. One is with what dignity can you conduct yourself? The second is Am I giving my best to it? Am I doing it calmly? Am I doing it with compassion? There is nothing really more that you and I can do because eventually the results are not in our control at all. And if we start worrying about the results, we will not be giving our level best to that moment. And if we don't give our level best to that moment, we are not really operating from a higher self. How does one continuously remind oneself to operate from the higher self? It's very simple. Wherever you get an opportunity, be in a state of gratitude. Through the day, we sit down and eat often. We sit down and have water, cold drinks. We have tea, beverages, coffee. Every time you sit down, to consume something, do it with a state of gratitude. Send out a short thank you to your goddess, god, guru, to mother nature, to the cosmos. We spend a large portion of our time eating or drinking something or the other through the day. When you are in a state of gratitude every time you put something in your mouth, you automatically slowly move into the state of being in the present moment and operating from the higher self. It's a reminder, it's a reminder. The other thing that I feel which is very important is many times we allow our emotions 
to come in the way of our spirituality, in the way of our life, in the way of our work. Every kind of emotion, if it is not under control, is a reaction. Not just anger, not just anger. Any kind of emotion which is not in our control is a reaction. And as I have said before, if you are going to react, you will never be able to operate from the higher self. Life is as simple or as complicated as you and I want it to be. A question that you and I have to ask ourselves regularly is, what is my priority in life? What is my true priority in life? What is it that really, really drives me? And the next question you need to ask yourself is, what am I doing about that priority? Because understanding and knowing your priority and doing something about your priority are two different things. Once you know what your priority is, once you have understood what your priority is, and you go ahead and live your life trying to meet that priority, trying to fulfill that priority, and you do so with dignity and calmness and compassion and gratitude, you slowly start operating from the higher self. Because what happens is, baggages drop down once you are aware of your priority and moving towards your priority. Humility is another very important, exceedingly important aspect of operating from the higher self. Every spiritual master has one thing in common. A true spiritual master has one thing in common. He or she is humble. And this particular quality seems to be slowly disappearing from our day-to-day -day existence. Humility. The more you imbibe humility within you, the more you shall realize that you are operating from the higher self. It is as simple as that. to remind yourself about operating from the higher self. Every few hours you need to take five minutes off, focus on your breath, remind yourself, and then move back into the world. It could be a coffee break, where you make the coffee break a sort of a meditation exercise. The very concept of meditation is to be in the moment. So as I have said, if you're not in the moment, it'll be exceedingly difficult to operate from the higher self. As I have said, 
if a thought comes to you don't encourage it don't fight it come back to the moment come back to the moment indulging in charity indulging in acts of compassion nurture the soil for one's higher self to evolve more and more nobody is that poor that he or she cannot give a little bit wherever you and i can we need to help whoever is in need of something it's a very simple it's a very simple way of living living by your higher self greed has no place in it hate has no place in it anger has no place in it once again this is not a regressive submissive way of living this is a calm proactive way of living this is very important no matter what happens do not lower yourself to somebody else's level that is the principle of operating from the higher self no matter what happens do not lower yourself to somebody else's level no matter what happens do not give somebody the power over your peace of mind do not give that power to anybody this will help you to constantly operate from your higher self that is how the spiritual gurus the spiritual masters those who are evolved function each moment they are coming from compassion they are coming from selfless love they are coming from oneness which means each moment they are coming forth from the higher self in life there will be times when what you and i want will be unachievable in times there will be situations where you will realize that i have done my best but it's not working when there is no focus on the rewards when there is no attention on success failure itself will be a learning experience will not be a bitter experience everybody seems to be afraid of failure that's because their whole obsession is with success but when you are operating from the higher self you are beyond failure and success your whole focus is the present moment and giving my level best to that present moment nothing else matters then nothing else matters the only thing matters is am i conducting myself with dignity with honesty with compassion with love am i spreading the light or am i spreading darkness that's what is going to matter nothing else is going to matter i truly believe that each one of us can make the world a better place 
by simply doing a very small thing coming forth from the higher self. More of those people coming from the higher self, better a place this world is going to be. But we seem to be clouded by individuality, we seem to be clouded by our own ambitions and our own greed that blinds us from everything which is good and noble. Our anger, our lust, our ego. Of course we are human, of course we are flawed. But that does not mean that we operate from our lowest, basis self. Yes, there'll be times we'll get angry. Yes, there'll be times we'll react. But how fast can you get back to being normal and calm and dignified? That is what it is all about. Getting back on the saddle. I think if we teach our children the importance of giving one's best and leaving the rest to the wisdom of the cosmos, to the wisdom of the goddess god guru. I think we will be creating a better future for our children because they will learn to operate from the higher self. They will learn to operate from compassion and dignity. That's all I need to say. Thank you. God bless. Are there any more questions? Okay. <clears throat> There's a question, is there a special technique you propose for meditation on the higher self? Yes, every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to sleep, sit down on something comfortable, shut your eyes and just follow your breath. Just follow your breath. Your inhalation and exhalation. No special technique. Absolutely no special technique. However you are breathing, just follow your breath. Your inhalation, the oxygen entering you, and then the carbon dioxide leaving you. Just follow it. If a thought comes to you, don't encourage it, don't fight it, come back to the breath. Start off with five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the night. It's a very simple form of meditation, but it's a very profound form of meditation you will connect with your higher self in a very short span of time. Another very important thing is my guru, Sai Baba of Shirdi. In prayer, he often tells me, 
the greatest mantra in today's time the greatest mantra in today's time is the mantra called shut up don't react if you react you can never operate from the higher self if you react you can never operate from the higher self the breathing meditation that i spoke to you about will help you stop reacting yes kristina pranayama is excellent but you need to incorporate it into your day to day life doing pranayam doing breathing exercises for 20 minutes and then doing nothing through the day is not going to help it will not help every few hours you need to take the me time 3 minutes 4 minutes 5 minutes me time you're traveling from home to work and if you're not driving your vehicle just sit down you don't even need to shut your eyes just focus on your breath and be in the now you're driving your car focus on just driving the car no thoughts be in the now if a thought comes to you don't fight it don't encourage it just come back to driving the car slowly 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 you will realize that you have begun operating from a higher consciousness you have begun operating from a karma consciousness so i don't think it's difficult uh, you know i don't think it's difficult at all it's it's just one's priority is my priority to operate from the higher self or is my priority to operate from the lower self it's a question that you just need to ask yourself so i i do i don't think it's complicated i don't even think there is anything spiritual about it i think this is how we are supposed to be this is how we are supposed to be is there any other question Clarissa I have been practicing it for the past 20 years now I've been practicing it for the past 20 years I have failed innumerable times it's work in progress it's work in progress I don't think I'll ever succeed it completely because life can give you various knockouts many times but i think each one of us if we go about it slowly day by day day by day our reaction time slows down our reaction time slows down we start operating more from compassion we start operating more from selfless love how do i put it what is spirituality spirituality is just about being the best version of yourself being the best representation of yourself i think that's what spirituality is all about 
and we need to work at it. It's, it just doesn't come about naturally. We need to work at it. Any other question? Anna, I don't think there are any questions. So should we uh, conclude? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A very simple thing is a very simple thing. You got to ask yourself, no matter who is elected, who is not elected, you got to ask yourself a very simple question. How are you going to make it better for you by being ruffled, by being angry, by being bitter, by being anxious? How are you going to make your life better? by harboring such kind of thoughts. No matter who wins or who does not win, the power to make your life calmer or more agitated is in your hands. When tough times come, when tough times come, are you going to make it, are you going to make it tougher? Are you going to make it tougher on yourself by being agitated? Or are you going to make it easy on yourself by being calm? So, and this is not only about a particular incident this is about life. Do I choose to complicate my life further? By getting agitated, anxious, upset, angry? Or do I take whatever is in store for me calmly, without reacting, with dignity? Externally, nothing might change. But internally, how you accept the situation, how you embrace the situation, is going to make the difference between life and death, heaven and earth, night and day for you. So, whenever things are going bad, You can make it worse by your mind, by your thoughts, by your angst. You can make it worse. Or you can make it easier by being calm in the mind, by being less agitated, by repeatedly telling yourself, I'm going to give my best and I'll leave the rest to the wisdom of the cosmos.
So I truly believe, I truly believe that for every situation, for every situation, we have a choice. Make it more difficult for ourselves or make it easier for ourselves. The external we might not be able to change at all. The external we might not be able to change at all. But we have a choice of how to handle the situation. Calmly or with agitation. That choice will come forth. The right choice will come forth if you are operating from your higher self. If you're not operating from your higher self, I fear you're going to take the wrong choice. I think it's as simple as that. Anyway, thank you so much for all of you all being here. God bless you all. S stay safe, stay calm, stay cool, and most importantly, stay happy. God bless.